Hello everyone, today we're joined by Alexi from Alexi's Carcassonne channel, but we're not making a video about Carcassonne, we're making a video about Azul. Alexi is a master Azul player, currently ranked number 4 with over 800 ELO, and we're going to do a bit of a fun game today. We're going to play Azul Hand and Brain. So basically this concept originates from chess. In this game, I will be the hand, so I will be making moves, and Alexi will be the brain. He will be telling me which colour tile to take, but he won't tell me where to take the tiles from, or where to place them, that will be up to me. Okay, they are they are right on 500 ELO, so they are an expert. They are the first player. Well, they, they do get the quite a nice tile group of three blacks. Yeah. So, how do we oppose them? It's such a hard board. It's such mm -hmm. a hard board. I agree. Um, okay, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say blue. Okay. So, my very primitive idea is that I shouldn't have any trouble finishing blue in the uh, middle row. I think we're in no rush, so let's just take blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, we don't want B to giving them whites. Mm. Uh, no, it's actually a good question. So I think many players here would be inclined to take black, but I believe that's actually a mistake. Okay, this will may seem strange but let's go with red here interesting red okay there's no way that i'm grouping up three yellows for them so my assumption is that it has to be red in line one exactly because if they take this and now yeah. then we can take white yes i'm a fan of that and then there is nothing really that they can do with that. Yes, they will be finishing their fifth row, but it's actually quite okay for us because we're going to take the yellows. Good. I'm glad to hear that. And somehow with this, let's say, rather unpleasant runout, we ended up being not ahead, but well, four points ahead, and it's 9 9 or productively place tiles, I believe. I would say we're ahead. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting for sure. So I, I think what they want to do with this is they want to make sure that we discard one white. Yes. Uh, when picking one of these tile groups. But they are hurting themselves more than they're hurting us because they're depriving themselves of valuable adjacency bonuses actually here why don't we just go blue that's a good question why don't we <laughs> hmm well actually so if i'm going to be taking one blue i want to be doing it with with first player and i don't really see a better line to do it than line two exactly they need the blues we need the blues yeah. and we can force their hand quite a bit well they're forcing our hand there is no way in the world how we're giving them two whites, so we're going to go white. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, see they, they took two blacks, because yeah. we could use some blacks in our fifth row, or they know that. But now, we are going to take blue. Exactly. Even yeah. we we sacrifice some points, but we make sure they, they do not finish their third row. So many good moves here. Actually, I think the move here is to go blue. I was hoping you'd say that. I agree with that move. Yeah, the idea is they, they're going to take their two red, but now we're left with a complete line three as well. Oh, are we though? Or are we? Yeah, that's a good question. So what I'm thinking, well, obviously I can say because the move here are pretty obvious. Mm. Um, they have 1.2, uh, then plus 4, they're going to have 5.7 points, right? So making them lose 4 points is actually maybe not such a bad idea. However, if we place it over here, then we just gain 3 points and an extra completed stuff. No, I think still yellow is better. But a move I was considering is simply taking the one black and forcing them to discard the yes, yellow. Yes. Just because here the value is not that great. Had, the, had it been four yellows then maybe. This is very interesting. I think many players here would go black because that's what we need. But actually the better move here I think is to go white. 
I like it. I would have preferred row three, but it's okay. I was tossing up. The thing is, I was thinking it's it's easy to deny red there, and we don't particularly want to place black in row two. But there are enough whites that we probably could have done both. But it's fine. And the thing is, it's actually not that easy to deny red. If we if we were to get the two reds converged quite quickly, they mm. would be forced to spend a move on discarding both reds because they don't have any place to put reds in. Uh, but true. now we actually might have to discard the reds because it's 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 a bit awkward for us. Let's actually make this one interesting. Let's go white. I was thinking white as well. So the main idea is that they still want white. Oh. They want to deny us some blacks at the bottom, but mm -hmm. there's still some blacks left in the deck. So we are just going to continue with whites. Oh, I do kind of want to converge things though, but actually I think it's safer if we don't just yet, because we still want one more yes. white. Yeah. Exactly, because if you converge, then they get two blues with one move, right. and there's a world how we uh, end up with more stuff on our floor line than we should. Mm -hmm. And here, I believe, yellow. Really making me think hard about that one. <laughs> I like that. Make sure row one is complete before everything converges. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Okay. Exactly. So we'll have just so much choice white. Good. I am it curious. It is absolutely worth losing the floor line stuff. Yep. I, I, was, I was curious if they're going to take all the, the black away and, and they do. But that's fine. Because you see, a column is worth 12 points. There'll be five points at the bottom right. plus uh, seven points for the column bonus. They've already sacrificed eight out of those points and probably more in previous rounds so all we have to do now is to make them sacrifice even more and take a blue mm -hmm. i think i am willing to put it on row four here it will very save... nice and greedy yeah. it, it is greedy it's absolutely greedy but it's saving two points now and it's not even a bad tile to fill i feel oh oh let's go what a run out what a run out um Actually, it's a good question still what we do. And I think it's still fairly obvious. Let's go blue. I Let's did, go blue. I did hack the game and I predicted that three blue would come out next round. We have a reverse sponsorship deal with Board Game Arena developers. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, so they right. placed two whites in their first row, which I think is a mistake. I think what they should be doing, they should be placing two whites in their fourth row and then trying to group together the two remaining whites and the two blues at some point later in the mm -hmm. round so that they have something for their second row. But now, what do we do now? I think the best move for us is to simply go black. Okay, I want first play going to the last round. It's either line, it's either row one or row two. I don't think there are enough blacks to fill row five anymore. So my thinking, exactly because yeah. they discarded so many. My thinking is just get it in row two. We have options for row one, and we can put reds in row three if we need to. Exactly. Okay, I'm glad that's what you're thinking then. That's exactly the logic here because uh, the three reds they will probably converge eventually, and our opponent is more likely to. Well, the, the, our opponent could take the three reds as well. Yeah, I think we just have to go with the black. And then if our opponent goes one blue, that is great for us. Uh, some interesting moves here. Hmm. Very interesting. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to go gold. I'm not going to go blue. I think a stronger play is just to simply take one white. Exactly. Now, if they take the one yellow to finish their bottom row for three points, mm -hmm. we have three, three reds red. converged together. If they take the one white, then we also have the three reds. And if they do anything else, then they will have to discard more stuff than they would want to. So here we will be taking red. I did not expect them to take the one yellow. Huh. I thought they would have just tried to get the red themselves. But then we take the red, and then they're in a difficult position no matter what. 
True, yes, yes, true. Okay, we have a pretty sizable point lead. And we are Which we player. don't have a column. Mm. <laughs> but it might not matter. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a big problem uh, at all. Well, I think uh, we just might have to play some forcing moves. So let's go with one white. I like it. Great idea. So now they're sort of forced to take the whites. Uh, and also, if they want to ever take the blues, they are then they have to take... <laughs> exactly. So I think the move here for us is red. Okay. Makes sense to me. Because we're also threatening row four now. And if they eliminate that threat, we get to do all kinds of other sinister things. I think we can play a bit fancier here and not go with the yellows just yet. Let's go black. I I was thinking kind of similar. Make them take the first player token. And also group the blues, yes, which yes, they need yes. for the second row. Interesting. So what is better? Uh, here we should do some calculation. So it's seven. I guess it's seven either way, but I think it just feels nicer to take the one black. It's always a nice feeling getting three complete rows. That doesn't happen very often. So even though they do deny us the yellows, we get to take the reds. And look at this completely clean floor line <laughs> in the last round. Very aesthetically appealing. And the fact that we didn't have a column didn't hurt us at all. Not at all. This is a very respectable score. Masterfully played, Alexi. Very well done. Good. Well, you're the hand. <laughs> you're the one who's doing the stuff. <laughs> Yes. And I feel like there, was, there wasn't actually any moment where we disagreed on the moves. I think there may have been just that one moment where I would have preferred mm, the, white, the yeah. whites in the third row anyway. Because had our opponent played correctly, they could have made the tiles very awkward for us. And those two reds for the second row would have eventually converged. So that's one thing that possibly your viewers can take away from this game. If you just look at the total number of each tile available each round, mm -hmm. well then, eventually everything is going to be converged. So you don't always have to panic and take the largest tile group in the row which matches the number of the tiles in the tile group exactly. You can try and think a little bit more ahead. But another interesting thing in this game uh, is the fact that we won without a column, which is usually pretty rare. Most of the time you want to be building a column. Yeah, and that's one. what we started doing because your opponent is will most likely build a column. Then you get seven points, they get seven points, and then you can kind of continue the game from there. But they tried disrupting our column so hard that they lost many more points in the floor line than the column would have been worth for us. And the important moment uh, for us was to recognize what they're doing and not try too hard to build that column and just let them put the blacks in the floor line. And it ended up working out quite nice for us. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very rare that I have an Azul game where I don't finish a column. And it is very debatable if it was worth it for them to discard so many blacks. Well, as we can see in the end, it, it didn't work out for them. It just looks like they, ha they had an over-prioritization of row 5. They completed three tiles in row 5, but they're worth very little points, and they didn't get a color bonus either. So it's, it's just a wasted resources that could have been on our floor line or something that ended up in their row 5 and didn't score them any points. Exactly. So they got... Six points for their bottom row tiles, but right. that cost them 15 tiles for just right. six points. Row three, for example, it's also 15 tiles, yes. but look at what we got from our 15 tiles and what they got from their 15 tiles. Amazing difference, yes. Well, anyway, thank you very much for joining me and thank you for these fun Azul hand and brain games. We actually played another hand and brain game on Alexi's channel, which you can check out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but this time I was the brain and he was the hand and it had a pretty chaotic result. Go check out Alexi's channel. As I said, he's a master at Carcassonne and Azul, top 10 player in both of them. And he does plenty of analysis videos on both games that are well worth watching. So thank you everyone for watching and see you later.